Okay, now let's keep looking at the strokes of the Chinese characters. This is the part four of the strokes. Today we're going to learn two strokes. The first one is called Shu Wan Go. Shu Wan Go is a vertical curved hook. So, how to write this uh, stroke? Firstly, you write a vertical, then you curve it, then we add a hook here. One more time. Vertical curve hook, like this. For example, this character, Qi is called Qi in Chinese, which means seven. You write Qi like this. And how about this one? Er, which means some, like this. Okay, so this is Shu Wan Go. Now, the next one, Heng Zhe Wan Go. It's a horizontal turning and curved hook. So how to write this stroke? Firstly, it's a horizontal, then turn it, then a curve, then hook. One more time. <coughs> 横, horizontal, 折, turning, one, uh, a curve, and go, hook, like this. Let's try to look at this in a character. For example, this one, 九, which means 9 in Chinese. 几, which means how many is used to ask a question like this. One more time, 几. Okay, so we're going to look at some characters, including these um, <clears throat> strokes. The first one is 7. So seven is per, uh, is uh, called qi in Chinese, and how to write seven as we all know. So firstly, is a horizontal, a little bit uh, uh slippery, slippery, yeah, uh horizontal, heng, then the shu wan go is uh the vertical curved hook. This means seven. The next one R. So first one is the pressing down. Uh, is the left falling. Then is Shu Wan Go is vertical, uh, curved hook. Okay. The next one is Qi. First is the uh left falling. Then is the Heng Zhe Wan Go, <coughs> the horizontal, turning, and uh, curved and the hook. So. Qi or originally is referred to a small and low table. Right now it's used to ask for question for how many. The last one is nine jiu. The first is left falling, then heng zhe wan go, like this. Okay, these are the characters we're going to learn today.